In this video, I'm going to show you the three things that magnetic people do to pull you in energetically. I'm going to show you how you can adopt them in your life and how by the end of this video, you're going to have a completely new belief and energy field about yourself that people will literally be able to feel. Now, the first thing to understand about confidence and attraction is that it is 100% an energy game. It is a game of, not necessarily a game, like you're playing games with other people, but it is a matter of understanding your own energy because people are attracted to people with certain types of energy and people are repelled by people with different types of with energy that's maybe very different from that. Now, when it comes to magnetic energy, the thing that it's important to understand is that how you feel about you is projected out and other people can feel that. Now, what that means is a big part of this process is understanding how comfortable you feel with yourself, how much permission you give yourself to be you, and how you can just most boldly express yourself out in the world. So knowing and understanding that this is an energy game or a, a, a matter of energy, the key to this is focusing on how you feel about you and how you show up in the world. Now, the first one that I wanna share with you is people that are extremely magnetic, what quality they have about themselves may seem very generic at first, but I'll explain it more and it'll make more sense as I go. And that is that people that are and have magnetic energy give themselves permission to be themselves. Permission to be themselves. They are most authentically being themselves and sometimes that even means being polarizing. So remember, when it comes to having magnetic energy, it is a magnet can both attract, depending on its polarity, and it can also repel. It is not bad to repel people that you don't want to be magnetic to. Imagine that you become a magnet to narcissists. Would you want to be a magnet to narcissists? Probably not. Would you want to be magnets to people that are abusive? Probably not. But if you are being yourself, and even if that is polarizing to certain people, you're going to repel people that wouldn't necessarily vibe with you, and you're gonna attract people that share the same values as you. Say, for example, your intention is um, to attract somebody that's emotionally available. Now, of course, the key is people feel what you feel, so first off, you must become emotionally available, which means opening up your own heart, which means being very vulnerable and showing the real you. But what you would do is you would be vulnerable, you would be in your own heart, and by being that way, un unapologetically, you're gonna attract people that are also that way, and you're gonna repel people that wouldn't necessarily vibe with that energy. So this is a matter of giving yourself permission to be the real you. I've noticed in my life that the more I'm able to really express the parts of me that a lot of times were repressed, one interesting thing that will happen too in relationships is sometimes people will attract people that uh, people that overly express certain energies may attract people that have a certain level of repressed energies. So sometimes it's not a complete one-on-one -on -one reflection, but the interesting thing about this is that the energy that you feel that maybe because a lot of times we attract people that maybe can show us because there's things that we can learn from these different dynamics. Now, when it comes to magnetic energy though, the thing to realize is that the energy you're embodying, other people are peeing off of that and other people are responding to that and that's, that's based on that energy, that's what you're attracting. Now, for me, what I had to learn to do is I had to learn how to express more of my true self. And prior to a certain time, I was, very afraid of expressing some of my even true desires. Even when I was dating someone, I would be afraid to show my interest. It was almost like I had this level of, um, I had to continue to be in like this friend zone or something like that. And that felt safe. It felt safe because it was avoiding rejection. What I found though is the more I was just my real self and the more I almost not only wasn't afraid of rejection, but I was just kind of under this uh, notion that I'm gonna express the real me because it's who I prefer to be, the more that like everything changed. So 
Give yourself permission to be the real you. I had to shed the people pleaser mentality, the nice guy mentality. It was hard to set boundaries. Like I had to shed all of these things because they weren't the real me. As the thing is, sometimes we tell ourselves a story, this is the real me, when it's not really the real us. It's just been a safe mechanism we've used since childhood to get our needs met. And some of our needs being met might be like not disappointing people and having people like feel a certain way. So one of the things that makes you more magnetic than anything is just you to be yourself, for you to give yourself permission to be polarizing and knowing that that is the real you and that you might repel some people, but that's a good thing. You don't need the validation and approval of everybody or of anybody, just of yourself. So give yourself permission to express the real you. And as you do, that will be magnetic and it will be more repellent too to certain people and that's okay. Now the second quality that magnetic people have that they are naturally being is and has to do with passion. Now what the HeartMath Institute has shown is that the electromagnetic energy of the heart is thousands of times more powerful than the head. So this, this, this thing of having magnetic energy is not about thinking your way through it, figuring out what is the thing I do to become magnetic because that's of the mind. And it's also in a way manipulative because it's trying to manipulate people into being magnetized to you when instead when you're just being yourself, it, it, just, it, it sounds so cliche, I know, but realize that the more you try to do anything, the more resistance is created. I was reading a book by Alan Watts last night. He's talking more about the backwards law. That is the more you try to, the more you, tr you try to not sink, the more you fall to the bottom of the pool. When you give up trying to sink and you just are, you float. Interesting how that happens. The more you want anything, the less you get it. Now when it comes to attracting and being magnetic, the more magnetic you want to be, the less magnetic you'll actually feel because you're trying to be something and it's, an, it's emphasizing that you're not there already. So one of the big things for this whole process is to just relax and to let go of trying to be magnetic. And also understand there may be a deeper thing here for somebody that may have clicked on this video. When you're looking at magnetic energy, think about it, like ask yourself, why do I even want to have magnetic energy? What do I want people to believe about me or to think about me for me to have magnetic energy? Because then you start to see that maybe I care a lot what people think of me. Maybe I want to be magnetic because I want to feel special or I want to like feel a certain way and realize you can give yourself those emotions right meow. You don't have to wait. And remember, you, whatever you feel is being projected out. Other people feel that and they reflect back what you think about yourself. If you walk around feeling insecure about a freckle, you're like, there's freaking freckle, it's right here, it's so... And you feel self-conscious about it and you're thinking, is everyone looking at my freckle? Is everyone looking at my freckle? Is everyone looking at my freckle? Then you'll create resistance and then people might be like, look at that person's freckle, oh my gosh. But really, it's just being emanated from the inside out. Now back to the, the, the point of this one, the second one is passion, the energy of your heart. When you're doing what you are passionate about, you are more attractive, period. End of story. Video done, just kidding. But when you are in your passion, your energy field goes out even further and you will attract people that are also in their passion. Think of your passion as your core frequency. This doesn't have to mean, but by the way, one overarching thing. It's not like my only passion is making videos and when I'm not in my passion, I'm just, I'm not in that attractive energy. It's more so just in general, it leaks off into the rest of your days. I recently did that Shift Experience Live event and from doing that Shift Experience Live event, there was a frequency that came through for those three days that now has leaked into every other aspect of my life, my business, my relationships, everything. Because I, I chose to be in that energy. So this is more of just a general thing that when you're in your passion, you are more magnetic and it will bring to you more things and opportunities that are equal to that high vibrational energy. Now, it doesn't have to be some overarching career thing. You can follow your passion by like going for a walk in a park, playing with your dog. You, you, you can follow your passion, the thread of passion throughout your day. Read the books you want to read. And as you do these things, you will notice that your days begin to change. Synchronicity begins to change because you are choosing to be in that heart field versus just the head field. Now, I've also realized, and I've shared this in a lot of videos, 
When I started going and doing my passion full time, I started, the, the, the people that I attracted to my life were people that were doing their passion. And think of your passion as your true self, following the frequency of the real you. You will then attract people that are the frequency of the real them. All my friends, people that are in my life, like, they're in that energy field. And you can do it too, by following your heart. The last trait of magnetic people has to do with how they pull your energy in, and that is, they don't try. They're not trying to pull your energy in. Somebody that is seeking someone else's validation or approval is trying to get it, and you can feel it. And if you could feel it, let me tell you, you will block it, you will like say no. It's just how it works. It's like the more someone wants it, it's like a, a Les Brown has, was it Les Brown? Has a quote like this. It's like, a doctor uh, that gives colonoscopies or whatever, where he sticks his finger up someone's butt, a very eager person that does that, doctor, you might want to be a little bit weary of. Because you're a little bit too excited, right? And the same way, it's just something that really wants your validation or approval, you're not going to want to give it. Now, the thing with magnetic people that changes everything when you apply it is having present energy, being present to the moment, having fun and doing things for an end of itself, not a means to an end. This is the biggest change right here. When you are doing something to get someone's validation or approval, to be, have magnetic energy, to get something from them, they can feel it. When you're being a certain way because it's who you are and it's present to the moment, that has a completely different energy field. This is about embodying the energy being present inside of your own body. The frame technique, something I've taught before. Bringing the energy into your feet, into your hands. Feeling the separation between you and the walls, you and other people in your life, will make you more magnetic. I've done this. I've had people go out. that have been in my challenges, 21 day challenges before. They go out into the world, they do this exercise, and you would not believe how many people say people are magnetized to their energy from simply feeling the separation between them and other people, not needing anything from anybody else. And also, the other aspect of this is to have fun. Magnetic people normally have fun. They're not having fun to get somebody to like them. They're having fun because it's fun. Having fun is present energy. Having fun is, is an end of itself. So realize that for this process, this is really about embodiment. This is about embodying the highest vibrational you, it's feeling the separation between you and other things, not thinking that someone else's validation or approval is your, like you have to get it. And as you don't need it, you will naturally get it. Now, if you haven't heard yet, on July 1st to the 21st, we're doing a 21 day confidence love challenge. This is a brand new challenge for feeling 100% confidence, removing fear and doubt, feeling safe in our own frame, and going through a process of transformation. If you wanna join, now is the best time to join because you will get lifetime access to everything, which means in two years from now, you can go back to the 21 days. There's live coaching sessions, guest speakers. It's a 21 day process. You can go at your own pace with it. And if you wanna check it out, go to www.confidencelovechallenge.com or click the link in the description box below. And then also, if you wanna learn more about the five confidence secrets that make you magnetic AF, it's one of my most popular videos. Check this video out right here. In this video, I wanna share you five secrets to letting go that will make you more attractive and that will completely transform your life. And when you start applying them, it changes everything because you start realizing who you really are and you start letting go of what you are not. So 